Since the establishment of the Board of Pharmacy Specialties in 1976, BPS board certified pharmacists have increasingly become integral members of the healthcare team. At the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, BPS board certified oncology pharmacists work closely with physicians and nurses to develop the best treatment program for each patient. I actually went to my gynecologist because I had some pain on my left side and wasn't sure what that was all about. I was stage three ovarian cancer. When I first came for treatment here at CINJ, actually it was exactly two weeks after I had had surgery. I felt weak in the knee, like just kind of overwhelmed by what I was fa going to have to face, the treatments that I was going to have to face. It was really very um, friendly and it made me feel comfortable. And the people here made me feel comfortable. The team here at CINJ for my particular case was Dr. Rodriguez and Dr. Gibbon who are the gynecologic oncologists. And um, they're oncology nurses and the pharmacists that were part of the team. I actually felt good that it was a team effort, and I felt that the more people with eyes on my problem, uh, the better off I was. Michael Kane, one of the BPS board certified oncology pharmacists at the Cancer Institute, takes a personal approach to each patient's treatment program. Mike came and sat with me, took the information on the drugs that I was taking, and then came back to me later in the afternoon with a scheme of what, um, how I should approach taking my medication. Um, she was in a, a situation uh, not, not good, you know, um, but certainly not the worst it could have been. We knew that we could uh, probably get a, a great response, probably get her back to surgery, all these great things, um, but we had you know, six to nine months uh, of work ahead of us. Physicians recognize that BPS board certified pharmacists bring a level of expertise and knowledge that is vital to patient care. The team model of care works so well because science and medicine, the knowledge is so vast now. There is no way one single person can know it all. If we have a team, everybody's looking at the same person from different approaches. I decide and prescribe the medications, the chemotherapy, but he's in charge of making sure everything is perfect, that we are not giving the wrong dose, the wrong drug, the wrong schedule. We'll pour over that regimen and that patient in, in great detail, um, no stone unturned, to determine that each entity is correct, optimal, what's missing, what should go away, and then think down the road. We, we plan six treatments of this, eight, nine, ten treatments of this. How are we going to get the patient there? The success of any healthcare team depends on the knowledge and experience of each of its members. This is why specialization has become increasingly important in all aspects of medical practice. In pharmacy, BPS board certification is considered the gold standard when it comes to determining a pharmacist's qualifications and capabilities within a specialty area. BPS board certified pharmacists bring a level of expertise and knowledge that is vital to patient care. When I came, I assumed that they just went on a shelf and pulled out the chemo that I needed to take. I didn't realize it was actually compounded and made specifically for me. My favorite quote, my own personal quote, is uh, oncology care is the fastest moving target. You're, you're constantly pressed with this new information, this new medication, this new diagnosis. Uh, it's just changing so dramatically. And, uh, and how else can you speak to that unless you're very fluent 
and very up to date in the literature. And you prove that to yourself, not to anybody else, to yourself by taking this examination. The reason why BPS certification is important is that it sets the bar of what the pharmacist can do and should do and cannot be any less than that. And that gives the physician uh, a comfort zone that we have really highly qualified people to give these very toxic drugs. So when I came to work here at the Cancer Institute of New Jersey, I was not uh, BCOP certified, but it was always sort of on my radar as um, a way to continue my education. Um, I think it shows our physicians and our patients that as a department we're committed to making sure that we provide the best care to them. And at the end of the day, it eventually helps the patient if the pharmacists are also certified and they know what they are doing and what they are talking about. So that was one of the reasons it's really crucial. It's not required, but it's really crucial to be a board certified pharmacist. BPS board certified pharmacists not only recommend, monitor, and adjust medication plans to optimize patient outcomes, they also educate patients about how and when to take their medications. Because I was on other medications at the time, being able to sit down with Mike and say, okay, I'm a little confused. When do I take the pain meds? When do I take the anti-nausea medication if I'm taking these other three medications? And he actually sat and made up a, a, a calendar of the day saying exactly when I should take these different medications. She had um, uh, a lot of other things going on. Um, her, her blood pressure uh, became issues for us during her treatment. Um, uh, she became what I would call a medication sensitive individual. She has uh, allergies and she developed some insensitivities or intolerability to the treatment, uh, what we call hypersensitivity reactions. And so we, we knew that um, these were likely events going into it and so we, we did have a plan um, and we just tailor it uh, specific to, to her. I knew I'd gotten through the worst of it when I went in to see my doctor and she said that my last CAT scan showed no evidence of disease. You always have doubts when you're in treatment how the ending will turn out, so it's been, um, it was really overwhelming um, to hear that news. These are nicer circumstances to be uh, reunited with Dee rather than having to worry about what, what chemotherapy we're going to give her next. So she's done quite well. She's very inspiring to all of us. Mike and I are a team and uh, we just work together for our patients and, and you cannot say one is more important than the other. We're equally important to the patient care and uh, it's that team approach that gives higher quality to our care. BPS Board Certified Pharmacists. Improving patient outcomes, one patient at a time. To learn more about the Board of Pharmacy Specialties, visit www.bpsweb.org.